Praise God. It's a privilege to be here tonight and uh, hear what the Lord is telling us. And uh, Brother Poppy Daniel made a comment, you know, about the brother from Australia. Had it not been for the brother being faithful, uh, perhaps he would not be here today. And, and can't we all say that? Somebody took an interest in us. Somebody in this flock uh, was concerned for us, and, and uh, they labored in prayer. God heard that prayer. And if you think about it, when Jesus gave the Great Commission, uh, every child of God down from that point in time, those that obeyed the voice of the Son of God and did what God showed them, we all are an outgrowth of that. If you look in Matthew, uh, basically when Jesus gave the Great Commission, verse 16, last chapter of Matthew, we know this very well. Uh, it says here, But the eleven disciples proceeded to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had designated. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some were doubtful. And Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And I agree. What, what we do, we need to do right away uh, because night is coming when no man can work. And, again, it's the Lord working in us. We don't know exactly what that looks like like Brother Tony said, but we do know that time is of the essence. And, and I would just think now somebody was faithful. Jesus calls his servants to proclaim his message. It's, you know, no man takes his honor unto himself. We know that God has always had his people. Uh, we know many of the servants of God, but just think how faithful his servants have been ever since Jesus made the Great Commission. That's why we're sitting here uh, well before you were born. There are people you know, uh, that, that came on and, and honored uh, the Lord's call, and, and they were true to this. And so the Lord's telling us now that we can do this. In fact, God has opened doors, like Brother Tony has said. And indeed, that's exactly what we're able to do. Uh, the brethren have ministered to, to many nations, thank God. And we've heard uh, Brother Poppy Daniel share what the Lord is doing there. But, you know, it might not be behind a pulpit. It may be just that lady at work that is discouraged about her kids or maybe that guy in your neighborhood that has a troubled son or whatever. Uh, these are very big things. Damaris Carball made a comment one time. She said, you know, what we account as really big oftentimes is not big to the Lord, but the little things that we think are minuscule, not such a big thing, are quite large in the estimation of God. Those little things. And, uh, but I, I thank God somebody was faithful to pray for me. Uh, and I agree, Brother Tony, there are other sheep out here, and we're a part of it. And there are other ministries where God is quickening uh, throughout the world, and, and one day we'll all be gathered up, like Tony pointed out. And, but thank God we do have a role as a part of the Great Commission right here, MCM Ministries. And, and I thank God for the other ministries where Christ is using. And, and uh, God knows uh, he's going to have a servant, and uh, he does have servants in the earth today. And, but uh, thank God somebody had a concern for us pray for us. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sitting here today. And I concur with what Brother Robert said. I feel the same way, Brother. I want to uh, be effective. And, and uh, like Tony said, if we turn our heart to the Lord, we will find what his mind is. And, and, uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's a big thing to reach out. Every day we have opportunities. And, and uh, you know, I think it's a twofold thing God does. He, he uh, edifies those that are born of his spirit. And he's also wooing those who are lost sheep. They have not yet come into the fold. So we always have to see uh, the edification of the body, those who are born again. And we always need to ever be reaching out to those that, that have not yet come into the fold. And, you know, frankly, I believe that's why we're still here, is that there's still time. Uh, that's in God's hands. I mean, I feel God could come tonight. Jesus, you know, is, is, is showing us just how late it is. And yet, until he does, let's be faithful to, to reach out to people. And I uh, thank God he's allowed us to be a part to where we can do just that. And, and it's his work and it's his spirit that, that quickens us. Thank God for that. But if somebody didn't pray for us and have a burden, I don't think we would be here, any of us. And, and we, can, we can pay it forward by God's spirit, not in our own effort, by taking an interest in others. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's wonderful to be here tonight. I appreciate the, what I believe is a call of the Lord tonight. I had something come to me here. I'm going to give it out in faith. Um, part of the song, Trust and Obey, really stood out to me when we sang tonight. And uh, there's one, one, of the, one of the verses that says, uh, 
But we never can prove the, the delights of his love until all on the altar we lay. For the favor he shows and the joy he bestows are for them who will trust and obey. Praise the Lord. I, um, I just, that just kind of rocked me a little bit. And uh, sitting here listening, I had, a, I had a song come to me. It said, the Lord is calling out of Babylon. And to me, the Lord is, is telling us, you know, we're here. We've, we've all had a lot of word. Not all of us. And there's certainly some here tonight that maybe haven't. There's a lot of us here who have been uh, blessed to be exposed to just a bounty of fruit, a bounty of uh, blessing and word. And then I had this scripture come to me. This is what made me finally get up and say it. I hope this is the Lord. Now, after this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them in pairs ahead of him to every city and place where he himself was going to come. And he was saying to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And this is what he told them to do. This is what Tony just said. Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And that's not just... Lord, find some other people to go out and do your work. That is us too. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, it just kept hit me there. I, it, it confirmed to me that, um, well, let me, let me keep reading here. The laborers, send out laborers into the harvest. Go, behold, I send you out as lambs in the midst of wolves, carry no money belt, no bag, no shoes. He's basically saying, go in faith. You know, don't, uh, don't try to work this out before you go now. Just uh, ask the Lord what to do and go. We try to, uh, you know how, it's what we've been talking about tonight. We try to plan everything. We don't want anything left to chance because we, we would be out of control. <laughs> we don't like that. We just had a service about this at home. It's, uh, it's funny. But um, I, I appreciate the Lord tonight. I, I appreciate the call. And uh, I don't believe it's a... Um, it's not something to take lightly. You know, it's easy to leave here and we do our thing. And uh, this, I mean, this needs to be our, the daily cry of our heart is, Lord, what, what are we here for? I mean, is, is it just to go through the motions? Certainly not. And we know that. I say that question to God, I want to be, when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, with all who will trust and obey. I want to abide with the Lord. I want a life with him, not just a life that acknowledges him along the way sometimes. Or, um, you know, I had another truth. They have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. Um, we don't get that power until we trust and obey and put our complete and total trust in the Lord. Amen. Appreciate service. Appreciate what the Lord uh, had to say to me and to us tonight. I was, I was thinking, uh, you know, uh, it was uh, for me too. Uh, you, you, in this world, it's um, it's easy to, you know, in America, it's you, you have, um, you get a little bit, you want a little bit more, and you get a little bit more, and then you you want more things, and um, it's easy to get wrapped up into that. Uh, and to think about, just think about me and my four and no more, you know. But um, I was thinking, you know, whether if we have little or if we have a lot, that's not the problem. The problem is where is my heart, you know. And I felt like that's what the Lord was saying to me tonight, is that, uh, you know, I want your heart. And I want it all the time. And um, I appreciate, you know, um, um, I was thinking about Isaiah. Um, he was a changed man after he had an encounter with the Lord. Everything was different. And after that, then he was went out. But, um, of course, you know, he went out. The Lord already had a plan for him and told him, you know, where to go. But um, after you have an encounter with the Lord, everything is different. And um, I know the Lord doesn't want to just have us to have an encounter with him one time. You know, he wants us to have an encounter with him daily and to uh, spend time with him. And I appreciate that, that he takes an interest in me, that I'm that important to him, that he wants to spend time with me. And when I do, I'm changed. I'm not the same person. And um, I don't know, I just appreciate that. And I believe that's what the Lord was saying to me, is that, uh, you, know, to, uh, you know, I want your heart. 
and I want you to, because uh, it's so easy to, uh, to get distracted or get carried away or get complacent. But, um, you know, and I appreciate, uh, I think about the scripture that says about guarding our heart. You know, that's the, that's the fountain. That's where it springs from. And uh, if uh, I allow things to get in there, then it's going to take away from my relationship with the Lord. But when I get my heart and my eyes centered back on Him, then everything fades away. All my problems fade away. And uh, then everything is like it should be. Appreciate the service.